All right, despite uh, strong resistance from Bi Biden's allies, Republicans are now pushing for answers in the Hunter Biden investigations. The IRS whistleblowers alleging political bias in the Hunter Biden probe are set to testify in front of lawmakers next week. This is going to be blockbuster, and senior officials at the DOJ, the IRS, Secret Service, are in talks with House Republicans about them sitting for interviews. Meanwhile, the DOJ confirmed the lead attorney in the Hunter Biden probe, David Weiss, is willing to meet with the House Judiciary Committee, quote, at an appropriate time. What, when hell freezes over? Here with reaction, former acting U.S. Attorney General Matt Whitaker and New York Post reporter John Levine. Matt, let me start with you. They have been reluctant. They have been resistant. They have been uncooperative. They didn't want to hand over the 1023 form. For example, uh, witnesses have not been forthcoming. Number two, uh, you know, we can look at uh, Christopher Ray yesterday or earlier this week, and what do we see? Him duck, dodge, weave, obfuscate. So they're not cooperative with the FBI. They've not been cooperative with the DOJ at all, have they? No, they haven't. It's good to be with you, Sean. And just like the Hunter Biden case taking five years to investigate before these weak misdemeanor charges and a and a throwaway, you know, agreement uh, is was made. You know, this uh, truth they don't want it to come out. They're trying to get their story straight. They have these two IRS agents with a lot of credibility that are going to testify consistent with what they've previously testified, which is this investigation was spiked by the highest levels of Biden appointed DOJ officials and they just don't want that story to get out. And John, uh, my argument is this judge should not sign off on the sweetheart deal that the prosecutors gave Hunter Biden, especially in light of so much more that we know. I think the court needs to give time for this to all percolate and these IRS whistleblowers to tell their story. And that has got to be reconfigured at that point, in my view. What are your what's your right. take? Well, that, that's certainly sort of a wrench in the machinery that not a lot of people are talking about is Hunter's plea deal has to be approved by the judge. And we it's it's far from clear to me that that necessarily will happen. And part of his plea deal also requires that he stay clean and stay off of drugs, which raises, you know, new questions about obviously drugs were just found in the White House and we don't know who brought them. But we do know that an active cocaine addict has been staying at the White House. So there, there's, there's a real political imperative to not necessarily well, wait a minute. finding we know, the we, culprit here. And, John, we also know Corinne Jean-Pierre lied to the country when she said that the Bidens weren't there the Friday before the weekend when they found the cocaine. Yeah. And, and, Both we, Joe yeah, and, and we know it's an there. irresponsible question to even ask that. So it's, I'm it's a very irresponsible host. Right. Uh, you know, I, I, you're yeah. right. I am. I plead guilty. <laughs> uh, Matt Whitaker, when, when you hear about all of this being covered up, and even David Weiss, uh, John Solomon reported this week, approved the indictment on tax felony charges for Hunter, and they didn't even, his own department approved it. And then they still buried it and lowered it to misdemeanor charges, and, yep. and the gun charge is a joke from the people that lecture every American about their Second Amendment rights. Yeah, as a former U.S. attorney and, you know, senior DOJ official, I see a designer plea deal when I and I know that's exactly what happened here. You know, they let the statute run on the most serious years so that they couldn't bring those charges, which would have been felonies. And then they have these misdemeanor charges coupled with this agreement uh, to not, not offend again. But, you know, uh, what was just mentioned is really important because this plea deal, if approved by the judge, is going to require Hunter Biden to be drug tested on a regular basis. And uh, we'll see if, you know, it follows through with that and then if he can comply with those terms going forward. John, how do you see this ending? You know what's going to save us? And I never thought I would say this. Paper. Paper. The federal government is one thing they can do is generate reams and reams of paper. If David Weiss tried to become a special counsel and he was denied, there will be a paper trail. If he tried to bring charges against Hunter Biden in other jurisdictions and he was denied, there'll be a paper trail for that, too. And that is going to be the only objective way to really suss out who is telling the truth here and who is not. You know, at a future date undisclosed, um, I don't think the DOJ wants him to testify before Congress because in that moment, that would be a perjury trap potential if you're right. Anyway, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. Please join the conversation.
Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the Macad TV family. Please like and share Macad TV. We love you all. Please support Macad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.